across the line in the LMP2 class and defending their win from 2022, Elvis Rankin from... Fondest memories. There's been a lot of good ones, for sure, but hands down for me, it has to be Daytona 24. Just because of all the effort that was put in, obviously it was my first race here, so that was special in itself. And then kind of for me to stake my claim for this year that I was coming out and I was gonna, I was gonna play and I was showed the pace that I had and the potential when I fully went out at an event. In my opinion, I don't say this very often, but I was the quickest guy that week. We all kept our heads in it. Me, Michele, Stanley and Owen. Just for me, that's the best. You know, I'll say like favorite moments, but it's kind of like the first like big moment, I guess, was the PAX 5K. For me, that was like the first time I'd ever won money. Obviously winning $2,000, it was for me very big. Uh, kind of to stake my claim as well in the team. It was the day, it was like two days after my birthday as well. So it was a nice little, nice little birthday present. <laughs> the thing that I'll miss the most is, is just the activities that we did as a team. Like obviously for my birthday, we went to uh, an amusement park or like the karting. Sometimes some of us will go and play golf. Um, I'd probably just say like the activities outside of here that we all get to do as a group. I would say that's my, my favorite. They're the thing I'll miss the most. Competing in ESL R1, obviously it started a bit rough. I wasn't really happy with how I was doing personally, but I'm very proud of myself and how I turned it around. Obviously going from finishing dead, almost dead last two weeks in a row to then almost making the semi-final and then making two semi-finals in a row. I mean obviously the championship is very competitive and Daytona it's a bit of a lottery so there still is obviously a chance. But a lot of things have to go right. So I'll obviously I'm going to leave it all out on the table. But for me, just do the best that I can to help us get third in the team's championship is what really the aim is to do. I had said like six weeks previous before like anything had been announced, I was like, if they're adding new tracks, if Daytona is one of them, then I have a very solid chance. It's one of the only tracks that I find that I can sit down and constantly do laps at for some reason. I think for me, it's the best possible outcome for me to do the best I can and to end on a good note here. So in race one, the best way to make moves is just to let people go to the outside and just camp on the bottom the whole time, basically, yeah? Uh, I mean, Kev did make moves around the outside, but more, more, often, than not, the, the, more often than not, he would get slipped with the diff being hit. Okay, that's a way to do it. All right, Pete. Yeah, I will do it. Can you start, mate? Yep. Bob. Started off a little bit rough in the qualifying. Um, I really just made a mistake. It was in one corner. Off the start, we was able to slot down to the, the bottom line. And then there seemed to be a big stack up on the outside lane with Luke and Tommy. So we came out of turn one second, which was uh, a bit of a surprise to be honest. But it was slotted back into third just behind Payich. And then myself, Payich and uh, Bennett, we was able to just stick in a nice train of three for most of the race. I was just tagging along the back of the train, just waiting for my moment. Um, and then coming up to the last lap, get a nice run out of the bus stop, then off track, so I was able to overtake and uh, was able to finish P3. Um, so I'm very, very happy about that. First podium for me. Um, <laughs> we just gotta make sure, head down and hook up a Q-lap today. Let's go. Come on, that's amazing. Ace it. All right, P8. Not the most ideal, but 
will work from there. But of course, we've got Dara McCormack on the pole position on this race down to the first corner. Elvis Rankin now bursting his way through, trying to find a way past Mitchell de Jong. Obviously looking to lofty himself in the points. Two of the drivers that are in the fold to try and get into the top 24. Did you get around him? All right, let's, let's 2 1 de Jong. You can then see as well the Apex Racing team cars right bunched together. Uh, of I course, Kevin Ellis Jr. lofting himself higher than okay, last nice, check, back. We can actually train Jr. under the red line car here. If they get involved in it. Maybe even Elvis Rankin as well as they work their way towards the bus stop. No off tracks, uh, I'm good to go. Just getting pulled away from, man. The f what the f is this, man? It's because there's three of them, mate. Oh my god. Characters here in the top five. Mitchell de Jong currently sat in fourth well, now. Going through not me, because you have more chance of getting through. Who's got Elvis Rankin for company two. It's a way to end it, but yeah, we're gonna go. We need to we're, prioritize teams. We'll, we'll get through. We'll both get through. But if not, then I'll do what needs to be done. Whatever. I'm always, always willing to do that. So. Side by side, the background is Marcel Chintik trying to get past him as Tatler for ninth. Look at the inside, look at the inside. Risky here. move as there's three wide coming straight back over the nose of Rebel. Uh, was Rebel rather on Ellis Jr.? That was a bit dicey. Elvis Rankin also looking for a big move as well. Looks around the outside here on Jeffrey Rehnfeld now, and this looks very promising here for the young man if he can hold it together. Contact and he's on the grass. Before oh, I wipe no. from Mike, come on, he just pushed me what, clean off. Yeah, yeah, coffee, coffee. Last minute. Well, the mission now, Pip, be clear here for Apex Racing Team Kevin. Is Junior trying to sell the dummy around the outside. Oh, he's looking to try Marcel and make the move. Marcel completely killed Here me. Oh, Marcel. God, the two cars have gone off. No, that's Chinchik and Rankin again. They've come together. Felt a massive moment that has surely finished the championship for Elvis Rankin. Sorry that happened to you. Elvis had a situation to be in, mate. That's what it is. Yeah, I appreciate your help, anyway. A rough semi-final for us. Um, qualified eighth, but was promoted to P6 after some penalties, but then with Kev behind me, kind of after lap two or three, I had to try and push through to try and get us both through, and ended up colliding with uh, Rietfeld, and then the same lap into turn one, Marcel just missed his breaking point, um, and basically put us completely out. Overall, I'm happy with how I ended my season. Bittersweet, because obviously there was a bit in it, but. What can you do? Um, obviously, a massive thank you to all the guys, um, and uh, yeah.